folks, BC here. You're watching Deuce and Guns, and today we're going to talk about the two speed transfer case in the Deuce and a Half, and more importantly, how to split shift your Deuce and a Half. First of all, a quick overview of a transfer case if you're not familiar with it. A transfer case basically is used in four wheel drive vehicles to get power to the front axle. So, basic, the basic configuration is you have your engine, your transmission, and on a two wheel vehicle or rear wheel vehicle, you have the drive shaft goes straight from the transmission back to the rear wheels. Well, on a four-wheel drive vehicle, you have to get power to the front wheels as well as the rear wheels, and all has to be spinning at the same speed. So, you got your engine, your transmission, and then a drive shaft that goes to a transfer case, and the drive shaft continues through the transfer case to the rear wheels, and it transfers the power back up with another drive shaft going back to the front wheels. So, it actually takes a U-turn back to the front wheels around the engine, and sends it back to the rear wheels to power all the wheels on the vehicle. The Deuce Nav has is a little bit different in the fact that it has a two-speed transfer case for low and high gear. Now, in reality, there's about four reasons why you should be using a low speed in your transfer case. Uh, number one would be starting out in the hills with a heavy load or towing a heavy load. You want to start out in low speed and transfer case, and that's just easier on everything, the clutch and you and the engine and everything involved. Uh, number two would be parade routes. Second gear, low speed, is actually great for parade routes. Uh, three would be trying to maneuver around a parking lot. Parking a deuce and a half in Walmart takes some challenging, especially with the manual steering. So going through a parking lot in low speed gives you a lot more room to maneuver around and not worry about changing gears or messing with the clutch. You can just grind it around and have both hands on the steering wheel. And number four would be actually going off-road. Off-road with a low-speed transfer case is great, and it lets you just crawl over pretty much anything. Inside your deuce nap, there should be a plaque that looks just like this one right here. It's going to be mounted on a dash somewhere around the driver's side door or so. And I've got a copy of it myself here printed out so I can take a look at it. Now, the transfer case, it's, it's going to cut all the speeds in half. So first gear, you can see it right there. First gear with the high speed on, you're going to be maxing out at 9 miles an hour. Transfer case in low speed, 5 miles an hour. Next one up, 16 in second gear, 8. And goes all the way up, 5th gear, overdrive. You're going to be maxing that speed out at 28, a blistering 28 miles an hour. And then in high gear, that's 56. And that's, that's maxed out. You don't want to drive it at 56 for very long. Same thing at 28. 28 miles an hour. And the low speed transfer case, that is blistering. You're really putting that engine right on the edge. And this brings us to split shifting your deuce and a half. Now, why would you want to split shift your deuce and a half? Well, for the same reason why a semi truck driver sometimes want to split shift their gears. And that is you're hauling a very heavy load in the bed or you're towing a very heavy load and you're in the hills or something of that nature. You want to basically start out in the lowest gear possible. Now, a semi truck is going to have a very different transmission and shift pattern than a deuce and a half. Semi trucks are going to split every gear. First low, then first high, then move it down to second low, second high, and so on and so forth. Now, a deuce and a half, let's move over here to that plaque again. You see that if you start out in low speed first, you're gonna, you can work your way all the way up to 30 miles an hour almost in the low speed transfer case. And then at that point, you actually match up with third gear. So the shift pattern to split shift a deuce and a half is put a transfer case in low and then go low one, two, three, four and five, and then you push your clutch in, you bring it down to fourth again, and you pull up on the transfer case to put it in high gear, so then you have third, you basically go from five low to four high, and then back up to five high. Let's take a look at that in action. First gear low, I got a car coming, get them to get on by, and she swings up kind of wide. Important note, if your truck is moving, 
Make sure you use the clutch when you're going from low to high speed or vice versa in your transfer case. Now, if you're sitting stationary, your truck's either shut off or you're in neutral, then you can go back and forth without touching the clutch at all because the clutch doesn't actually have anything to do with the transfer case itself. But I have seen, I have personally witnessed GIs actually putting the deuce and a half in third gear and then just cranking that uh, transfer case from low to high. Don't do that. That is so hard on your components. I mean, that's like popping a clutch in a Honda Civic. Sure, it can do it a couple times, but eventually you're going to break something. And to back me up on that, I actually have the technical manual, the Dash 10 here, telling you a step-by-step -step process how to shift from low to high gear in a transfer case. And here we go. We're going to walk through it together. To shift from low to high range at any speed, A, step on clutch pedal, labeled number one, and press it all the way down. B, move transfer case lever, labeled number two, to high range. C, press down accelerator, labeled number three, to increase speed of the engine to match the truck speed. And D, let the clutch pedal, back to item labeled one, come up slowly. And there you have it. That's exactly the way the military wants you to shift from low to high speed and vice versa in your transfer case. And that's documented proof that I actually know a little bit what I'm talking about. Well, guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go and subscribe because a lot more is on the way. And if you have any comments, questions, or show ideas, and I'm always looking for new show ideas, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box below the video. And of course, you guys have a great day. See ya.